time has arrived. Uh, it is now, here and now, right here at the McKinney Center in Orem, Utah, the biggest fight card in Utah history. And it all ends with this main event. Sean, I'm excited. I'm stoked. I don't know what's going to happen. You, you, you know, Josh Berkman has been training his butt up for this fight. Another same token. Randy Melendez, one of the most explosive fighters and a guy that can end it at any time. You know, Johnny, you, you often hear about people talking about Brandon Melendez. I don't know if he trained for this fight. I don't know if he really got ready. Let me tell you, I was talking to Brian Yamasaki, Brandon Kaiser. Melendez is ready for this fight. At 180 pounds, he's comfortable. He's in shape. The catch weight, I think, agrees with Brandon Melendez because he likes to work. He doesn't like to train full time and cut a bunch of weight. The guy is ready at 185 or 180 pounds. Well, there's, uh, this is the thing, man. The kid, in the eyes of a lot of people, is the underdog, but Brandon doesn't see it that way. You know, Josh Ber Bergman talked a lot about Brandon being in his shadow. Brandon says, nah, that's not the way it's going to go. You are going to see the best Brandon Melendez that you have ever seen. UFC caliber times five. Josh Berkman is going down at here in the McKay Event Center tonight. Well, these guys obviously legends in Utah's MMA scene. Brandon the Murder Melendez, official record 36 and 10. His opponent, Josh Berkman, 22 and 7. And both of them notching multiple fights with the biggest company in the world, the big show, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. That's right, both Josh Bergman and Brandon Melendez, uh, contestants on the reality show, The Ultimate Fighter, okay? Now, uh, they, they've had their career. Josh Bergman stepping away from the UFC, Brandon Melendez being released from his contract. This is kind of who deserves to be back in the UFC. This kind of dictates that. I think the winner of this fight definitely has a great opportunity to make it into the UFC. Especially, Johnny, with all the buzz about the UFC potentially bringing a card to Utah. Josh Bergman in this fight, as you mentioned, considered the front runner because he stepped away after three very exciting, although losing fights. He stepped away to recover from a back injury that was nearly career.